Did you roll up your sleeves and donate a pint? Blood donations are critical after trauma, surgery, and even for those fighting cancer. But it's not just red blood cells that save lives. Other kinds are needed too. Dr. Joe tells us about a new push to collect these other life-saving donations. I had a really sore throat, honestly. Um, as weird as it sounds, you know, something so simple could be something so traumatic. For Jeff Roman, that sore throat turned out to be a sign of cancer, leukemia. Getting blood helped save his life. There were all kinds of blood transfusions, all kinds of platelet transfusions, which were the most important in my case because the disease I had is something that naturally depletes the platelet count in your body. Like many other patients fighting cancer, Jeff needed platelets. When platelets get too low, patients are at risk of a life-threatening bleed. And that's one of the things we really are very concerned about, particularly if the bleeding were to occur in a place like in their brain, for instance, or in their lungs. Dr. Karen Benson directs the blood bank at Moffitt. She said it often takes four donors to collect enough platelets for one patient. But with a special filtering system called apheresis, one donor can provide a whole bag. And that can lower the chance of a transfusion reaction in the sickest patients. But until now, that platelet filtering process was only offered in facilities like blood banks. We're there as Florida Blood Services rolls out the newest member of its fleet, a blood mobile equipped with a machine that performs apheresis on wheels. We are supposedly the first in the nation to actually put Trima on a blood mobile and run it pro primarily for platelet collections. You look at life a little bit differently, you realize that things are more important and all the little things that you think are so important, they don't matter. Jeff's checkup today was good. He's cancer free, but now knows how important blood donations can be. I encourage everybody to go out there and donate and help out as much as they can with things like that because it's just so simple just to go and donate blood, you know, a couple minutes of their time. Platelet donations take about an hour and a half. Want a sneak peek of this high-tech blood mobile? Check it out at Florida Blood Services tomorrow and Moffitt Cancer Center Thursday. Kathy? Thank you, Dr.